Hi everyone, I'm Dan from Dan Aesthetics at 3rd Avenue Spa. Today's question, is there a certain skincare product out there that I'd recommend to absolutely everyone for anti-aging purposes? And I'd say absolutely. Vitamin A and its derivatives. Stay tuned, that's what we're talking about today. Let's learn a few things. Okay, we need to break down vitamin A first. Vitamin A and its synthetic version is called tretinoic acid. That has three subcategories, retinol, tretinoin, and hydroxypenicolone retinoate. Retinol is always over the counter. It's about one one hundredth as potent as your prescription strength. And there are medical grade products in this, in this line, uh, but they aren't quite prescription strength. They're considered medical grade because they usually introduce another ingredient that helps your body absorb the product a little quicker. The reason why it's less potent is because your body requires an enzyme that helps break it down before it becomes retinoic acid. So you're usually expected to have effects anywhere from six to nine months after using this product regularly. Next is tretinoin. Tretinoin is your prescription strength. It's also known as Retin-A. There's also other forms of uh, name brands out there, but basically this is probably your most uh, potent and most studied uh, vitamin A product there is. Tretinoin essentially is tretinoic acid in a bottle. This product does not need any enzyme breaking down, and uh, for that reason, you're probably gonna get almost immediate results and usually by two to four months, people are noticing a lot of um, benefits from it. Your final product is your HPR or hydroxypenicolate, pinacolone retinoate. And uh, this product is your newest form of, of, of vitamin A. And uh, it's supposed to be as effective as your tretinoin. However, there's no irritation associated with it. So it's kind of new on the market. There's limited studies, but it's pretty interesting. All right, the three reasons why I love vitamin A. One is the rapid cell turnover. Our skin cells turn over every 40 to 60 days. However, if you're using vitamin A regularly, it's going to turn over on average about every 20 days. The benefit of that is that you're going to prevent clogging of the pores. So the pores stay nice and tight, and if you do have any minor acne blemishes, it's usually gonna help with that as well. The next thing is that it really helps maintain your collagen and elastin, and that is what keeps your skin strong, that gives you that nice boost, that bounce, that luster in our skin that we're looking for. As we mature, whenever we start having wrinkles, the wrinkles are there because we lose elastin and collagen. So by with using this vitamin A regularly, you're gonna really give your skin that benefit of keeping its strength. Third, Vitamin A has a natural tyrosinase inhibitor effect, which means that if you have any sunspots or melasma or hyperpigmentation whatsoever on the skin, it's going to lighten that area up. Side effects are usually going to be found in your prescription strength tretinoin or your retinol medical grade products. This includes a little bit of skin redness, irritation, potentially even flaking of the skin. In order to avoid that, what I'd probably recommend is putting these products on every two to three nights until your body adapts, and then eventually you can safely take this every day. Now, remember, this product does have some sun sensitivity, so in a, to avoid any further complication, I do recommend placing it on every evening just before bed. Now, the latest version of your vitamin A products is the hydroxypenicolone retinoate. It's supposed to be as effective as your tretinoin without any of the purging. The only issue for me is that it's only been out for the last few years, the studies are limited, so I can't really give you any recommendations on the long-term uh, safety of this product. But so far, it looks promising. So that's it for me this week. I appreciate you guys being here. If you like what you saw, hit the like. If you have a comment or a suggestion, post. I promise I'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. And uh, if you like what you saw here, do me a favor, subscribe. I try and post these videos every week to two weeks. So until then, take care of yourselves. Try and exercise daily, and please be nice to absolutely everyone. Take care.